Um, hey guys, we have a special guest today. This is my friend. She's going to be doing the painting. Um, we're just going to show you some of our previous paints. Uh, just a minute. Some of our previous paintings, except this one we just did for a few minutes. You know. And um, this one, um, I painted. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to show you how to paint one of my rubbish paints. <laughs> I just painted her random colours. So basically, this is greaseproof paper here. We're painting on it. Um, I got some kitchen roll and stuff just to wipe the paints on if we need any anything, you know. And we have the horse. Uh, we do not have a name for this horse yet. Um, we have a cup full of dirty water, which we did previously today. And we have a gravy dish full of paints and paint brushes. So, yeah, let's get started with the painting. We are going to paint this one as me and my friend's invention, um, a fire horse. Um, so we're not going to tell you the secret colours. But you'll find out. Basically, we're going to use a dark brown to get the kind of ashy effect. We're using the red to get the sort of fire. So, and we're using the white. I'm not sure why we're using the white, but um, we're not using. Oh yeah, we're not. Um, okay, so we're not using the white. We're just, you know, using fiery sorts of colours. We're going, we're going to try and get that burnt effect kind of not that the horse is actually burnt but um yeah so you can see now um my assistant is painting a red blaze like all fire horses have and um she's also going to paint a flame across the fire horse's back So it doesn't really have to be like exactly like a flame because we're just making it look like kind of fiery so you can see where I've done the silly red stuff so that confuses us a bit. But um, yeah, we're getting on fine. <laughs> so you can see it's like fire, you know. We've got that fire effect, haven't we? <laughs> So, um, yeah, I might want to pause it and I need to show you, like, later on in the painting project. So this is what he, we've done over the break. You can see we've done yellow to get that flamey effect. We've done yellow mane. So, we're going to pause it for a bit again just to show you more later, well, a bit more later on in the project so yeah see it looks good already so this is our fire horse a bit later on we've done some stockings tried to cover the boots and stuff we've still got a few gaps to fill in but um yeah we can do that later on so um, i'm gonna pause it again so yeah so this is our finished fire horse thanks to my friend um so yeah this we're just waiting for her to dry off and stuff but i think she looks pretty good bye